Now, for those of uh, the guys that decided to join the CKM bootcamp, since you've been in so many different bootcamps, what are the tips that you can give them to be prepared better for the bootcamp? And they they should do should they have to do anything or come as an you know open mind? What they have to do? Open mind for sure. Open I mean, mind. You have to come open minded. But the smart thing is start training, especially if you're not in shape. Um, you should do some type of training. It doesn't mean you have to be amazingly fit. If you're not so fit, you haven't done anything in a long time. So start doing a little bit of cardio. Start doing a little bit of training. You know, but I think the two main things is open-minded and, and do a little bit of training. I found, you know, in many boot camps that the person that actually doesn't know any type of martial arts whatsoever, that's just learning CKM, actually does the best. Yeah, they're more open-minded. You know, because, it, you know, it's so simple that, that they don't have anything that's kind of like holding them back in a way. You know? I, I agree, and I, I've been teaching so many boot camps. Many times we have people coming from other martial art or reality based systems. Mm -hmm. they, they have to reprogram. It's possible, and I've seen many success stories, but they have to do extra work compared to people who never done anything. It's just it's so easy to pour into them and it's so simple. But after we practice a little bit blindfolded and slow motion and moving to full speed, it's become part of them because it's so simple, isn't it? And I really, really try to hurt all sentences that the, the, the instructor uh, teaching, uh, the techniques, mm -hmm. or the little detail, everything. Good note And I think a good, a, notes. a good mindset, guys, I really think a good mindset if you're coming to, especially if it's your first course, and you're gonna learn it anyways, but the really good mindset is come with the mindset not to quit. No matter what, I will not quit. I will do this. I don't care what it's going to take me if it kills me. Yes, we have we no have, no quitting. We have a big big sentence in you know in Rome. It's like a usquad finem in Latin. So until the end, no matter what. I saw people coming from many different martial. They should leave, put it beside because if you are going to mix it because you have something in your head and your body coming automatically, you must to leave anything you know about martial art beside and come and thinking out of the box in your mind, open your mind and try to learn something new in CKM. I have a lot of respect for people who come from other system to our system and they are um, open-minded enough to try different things. I remember one boot camp, we had an expert that came from France to the boot yes. camp. The point is, uh, it was not performing well the first three days because uh, every time we did surprise attacks, the all things came out and in a way it was a bit awkward and I spoke with him and I said to him you need to do some reprogramming. He didn't sleep all night, he was just going through all the moves in his head and the next day, the fourth day, he was brilliant, he won one of the best in, in the bootcamp. All he did, he was playing the scenarios of knives, the guns and the strikes again and again and it become fantastic. So it is possible to reprogram. It is a little bit harder, but people who came for getting better, there is no better thing to do than just to uh, give your best in, in yeah. the boot camp. Mm -hmm. And as Ivan said, never quit. Because it's going to be physically demanding and mentally demanding. You know, it's long hours, sometimes 10, sometimes 12 hours a day. You don't eat much, you train and train and train because we are there to work. But when you finish the course, the benefit and the, the, the feelings that you feel after the course is second to none. Yeah, isn't it? Another point I like to add, because it's something that I notice sometimes that some people lack, is that you have to trust the people around you. And I'm not only talking about money or the instructors, I'm talking about the people that are doing the journey with you and they are starting the journey with you. Because if you trust the people that are around you, it's, uh, you feel the environment in a better way and it's also helpful to perform better because you know that no one is going to injure you, no one wants to kill you. They are there to train hard with you, like you, and together with you. It's, it's like a, you know, like building a team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like in a hard and it's actually happened naturally. It becomes a team. Uh, because as, as you progress and you see that the instructor is so humble, 
and the teaching is so um, technically correct and, and logical, it's become so simple for you to accept that and when you train with your partner and each amount of you sharing the amount of uh, effort and pain uh, together, it's become uh, a simple journey to take. I respect that a lot and uh, we accept that with open arms and we say, this is wonderful. As much as I tell all my instructors, if you feel like going and trying other system, by all means go ahead and try it. And you know, everybody that tries the system comes back to our system because we know that what we have is very special. It was, was, was amazing. Uh, the day before Israel, the day before they came here, I made a seminar for 20, 20 black belts of karate. It was amazing. You know, like a really, really big seminar. Like everybody, like uh, friends, uh, brotherhood, also with another style. You know, why, why not? You know, so we are really humble, everyone, you know. They say, oh, you are good techniques in this and that, the concept. And they, of course, love CVM. For you know, and, I, and I think a big part of it is the way we are taught to teach. A big part is how we are um, taught to become instructors because we, we are taught to be instructors but humble, but professional, knowledgeable, and not with, I'm the best, I'm you, I'm you know, this is it and this is how it works. No, it's, we're very open and, you know, we're very honest and, we're, and they can see when we teach that we really are trying to, to really pass the knowledge on with every little piece of information. And saying that, uh, you know that one thing that we do right from the very, very first bootcamp, we encourage questions. Yeah. We say to you, you know what, we teach you and anything you want to ask, ask. There is no whole bar. We are open to any question, and that's something that we teach the instructor also to continue that way. Because, as you said before, Pierre, being on a system is always to question yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one of uh, the benefits that people will gain from the course, and definitely we wish uh, everybody uh, a very nice journey into CKM. One, two, three, CKM!